Man, what do you mean your eyes hurt? Get back in the ring and fight. <laughs> that's what it's looking like to me. That's what it's, that's what it's sounding like. Um, Frank Warren is saying they're expecting Daniel Dubois to make his ring return in May. For me, that's way too soon. Way too soon. The, the injuries he suffered, <laughs> well, we all saw a horrific, horrific injury. He took a knee in the... Was it the 11th round against Joe Joyce in November? After getting pummeled by a jab for the whole of the fight, making zero adjustments, looking like he didn't want to be there from about, I think, about the, what was it, the fourth round? He looked like he didn't want to know. You can just see it. He might have been the third round, actually. Every time he went back to his corner, if you looked at his body language, it was just. He did not want to know. I <laughs> kind of felt sorry for him. I've always been a bit suspicious of Daniel personally. The poor opposition, the random Ghanaians he kept fighting. I remember um, when Richard Larty buzzed him, he started swinging for the fences. He looked crazy out there. And then he managed to get him out of there. He fought Nathan Gorman. Nathan Gorman with his little T Rex arms really couldn't trouble him. Fair enough, he got him out of there. Ebenezer Tate, um, another random Ghanaian, he fought, got him out of there. Then he fought the random Japanese guy. Poor, another poor, poor, poor position. Got him out of there. And then he was supposed to fight some German guy. I forget his name now. He was supposed to fight some German guy. And then um, the fight, all of a sudden, the fight wasn't taking place. And the German guy's team were accusing Frank Warren of fiddling with his medical papers. And ducking the guy, the guy, the guy seemed de- what's his name? Ricardo Schneider's, that's his name. The guy seemed decent, and yeah, all of a sudden the fight wasn't taking place. The Frank Warren was saying they didn't have the right medical papers. The team was saying, nah, nah, you guys just don't want the fight. You fiddle with our with our um, documents. That's why the fight's not taking place. And then all of a sudden, um, his, his name's not Schneider's. His name's Eric Pfeiffer. That's his name. Eric Pfeiffer. First of all, Pfeiffer, he's, we've been waiting and waiting for his medicals. He sent in his COVID test uh, last Friday. We got his other medical um, on Monday, today, and it was missing the MRI scan. And without an MRI scan, he can't, you know, he can't fight. And now the time's against us. They fitted with Pfeiffer's documents and then they replaced Pfeiffer with Schneider's. Ugh, Schneider's was horrible. Daniel tickled him about three times to the body in the first round. Literally tickled him and the guy just went down the canvas at the end of the fight. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Meanwhile, Joe Joyce been fighting decent opposition. He fought but Mainz Devern. Paul but former world world champion. He fought um Ustinov. Um, he fought Brian Jennings, Michael Wallish. While Daniel was fighting he fought Wallish while Daniel was fighting the Schneider Sky. Horrible, horrible. And then that brought us to Dubois Joyce. He got pummeled with a jab and then quit in the 11th round. And here we are. They're trying to rush him back in the ring. I think, I just, I think um, Daniel turned pro a bit too early. Going into the fight, I picked, I picked Joyce to stop Daniel. I've said this for about two years. Joyce beats Dubois. From when, um, from immediately as um, Frank Warren signed, um, Joyce, they were talking about um, they're gonna try and build both of them up to eventually meet up. I said, Joe Joyce beats this guy. It's just Joe Joyce. Um, arguably, he won an Olympic gold medal, even though he got the silver. Most people felt like he won that fight. I felt like he won that fight. Olympic pedigree, Daniel. Daniel. <laughs> He just he turned pro a bit too early. He needed a bit more experience. Plus, the 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 level of opposition just was not enough to get him ready for a fight against Joe Joyce. Just was never going to be able to beat him. It wasn't happening. So yeah, so I never wavered. I stuck to my guns. Joe Joyce is stopping him, and yeah, he stopped him. Here we are now. Joe Joyce is going to move on to potentially fight Usyk. They're talking about the Usyk fight. That's going to be for the interim. Um, WBO belt. U16 feel like they've been sh- they've been stiffed there because they had an agreement with Eddie Hearn and the Joshua's locked that up after the Pulev fight they're gonna get this show immediately. But you know the Fury fight is really what what 
people want to see. No people want to see the undisputed fight. They don't want to see no Usyk fight. Usyk, you can get your show out of the undisputed fight, to be honest. So, yeah. Fight Joyce. You beat Joyce. Or, oh, you know what? You know, I'm talking about Usyk getting his shot. He's getting his shot. Usyk might not even get past Joe Joyce. They fought before, but, you know. Usyk won that fight. That was only a five-rounder. It wasn't even a professional fight. That was a semi-pro fight. Usyk won that, but I, I think now... Now going the distance, twelve rounds. Uh, uh, I don't know, you know. I don't know. You sick? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The juggernaut. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm, I might just go with the juggernaut that one. I don't know. When the fight gets announced, uh, I'll assess. I'll assess things further and then make my final, final, final prediction. But for now, I don't know. I don't know. I think I might I might be favoring Joyce on that one. Anyways, let's let's go. Let's go. It's, it's not even about Joe Joyce or it's, it's about um Danny Dubois. Let's go back to Frank Warren's statement about Dubois. He goes, he's not interested in social media, which is very good. He just wants to get on and fight. Well. He's not interested in social media, which is very good. He just wants to get on and fight. I met him last week. He's not a braggart or loudmouth and was quite philosophical. When he was caught, he said the pain was searing right through his head. He said it has happened and he has to get on with it. The pressure's on him now, but it's not like he took a real belt and now he got knocked out. If he had been pulled out the round before, two judges had him ahead on their scorecard. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? He still would have lost the fight if they pulled him out. What are you talking about? What's this them the judges had in my head business? What what, what what does it matter? What does it matter? He got knocked out. He took a knee, quit. Two judges had him ahead. So what, he would have won the fight? No, he, that would have been a TKO regardless. <laughs> Retired. <laughs> what the hell? What are you talking about, Frank? Anyways, yeah, I think it's too early. Yeah? Like he said, he's talking about philosophy and stuff. Because he knows mentally this is going to be a challenge. It's an up uphill struggle for him. Who are they going to have him fighting after this? Are they going to um, give him better guys than Schneiders after this? I doubt it. I reckon he's going to fight, fight worse guys than Schneiders after this. So, the thing is that he said it's all a bit dodgy. Anyways, back to more Frank's waffle. The doctor is happy with the way the fractures have healed. He has to go back to get his retina looked at again. But hopefully he'll be okay to go again then get back into full training. So they haven't even got to go ahead yet and he's already booking fights. Well, he hasn't booked it, but he's talking about May. Okay. We want to get him back out in late late April or maybe May. All of us are very disappointed with what happened. <laughs> Daniel, they're disappointed in you, man. But he's younger and we're not going to rush him into anything. Okay, okay. You're not rushing him, but yeah, get, up. get back out in May. But no rush. Get back out in May, but yeah, no rush. Anyways, we'll see what happens with Daniel. Curious, curious case of Daniel Dubois. As usual, comments and thoughts in the comment section below. If you're new, subscribe. And yeah, I'm out.